Today I'm throwing a fruit bowl in my new dark play called Anthracite. Um, brown stoneware, looks really nice with the Celsa Chan and it makes the glazes show through a bit darker. This bowl actually doesn't show it off as well as some of them, mostly because the Celsa Chan is so opaque. Actually there's not a huge difference between it and how it is over the white clay. Um, you know, pretty much regardless of thickness, you can sort of see it start to break around the rim, but it doesn't really. But here's a glaze that shows it off much better. Same glaze, uh, sunset on both, and they are totally different over the dark clay and the light clay. And because it's far more translucent, you can actually see throwing lines through that one, which means that obviously the clay shows through that much more. But really nice clay to throw. I'm going to throw a fruit bowl with about a kilo. So just a small fruit bowl. This, this might actually be the last video I record with this wheel. I've got Scott Stephen Hill hopefully in the post to arrive in the next few days. I had to be shipped over from America which means it's taken significantly longer than I initially planned with everything that's happening at the moment. But, um, emailed on Friday to say that it's landed, it's checked and it's now ready to send out and it's only got to come from Stoke-on-Trent so slightly more manageable distance this time. Covered in previous videos the last time I mentioned it, this wheel doesn't have a working pedal because the controller board, when I got it, was pretty shot. I replaced a few components each time the fault would just blow the next component in the line. It had been sat in the garage for years. Uh, so I decided it was easier just to replace the whole thing with a lathe controller from China for 30 odd quid just to see if the wheel actually worked, and it did, which means I've got a dial down here on the side. Whenever you see me reaching down there, that's to adjust the speed, um, like so. And just a 180 turn dial. And yeah, it's fine when you're used to it. It's absolutely fine, I don't need to adjust the speed much. You get a, probably a better feel for what speed's needed when you can't adjust midway. If I've started a pull, that speed needs to be correct, or um, it's going too fast at the start. There's nothing you can do about it. You either have to give up halfway through, or um, stick it out. So I'll probably throw very similarly once I've got a pedal. Just adjusting speed as and when I need to rather than, I know some people do it almost between every pull they'll slow it down, speed it up, and yeah, the sort of thing you do when it's no effort to change the speed. I imagine it's going to be hard to break the habit of how I've thrown for the last few years. The main thing I'm looking forward to is that it will be so much more powerful than this wheel. If this was working properly, I worked this out as being something like a quarter horsepower, I think, possibly less than that. Um, and that seemed, you know, it seemed reasonably powerful with the controller that I've been using up until recently, but that just stopped working one day. Um, I got, in theory, the same thing 
again from China. And this one I can stop once I'm centering around two kilos if I'm not careful I can just stop it turning. So there's no question that it's less powerful than it used to be. Um, if I was keeping it I'd try and well I mean I am keeping it, I mean if I was it was going to be my throwing with everyday wheel for a long time to come I would definitely address that. As it is either become my trimming wheel or my throwing in a different colour clay wheel as it would be quite nice to not have to clean everything perfectly. The other day I did get a piece that I had trimmed off a bat that had dark clay on 